What's up, y'all? I just wanted to make a quick video real quick. Not gonna be long, because I wanted to post mighty fast, mighty fast. I'm in San Diego, living a dream over here. It's fucking way cooler vibe than LA. I don't know if you know this, but LA got a fucking whole breed of fuckery going on down there. I just wasn't feeling it. But here, this vibe is decent, really decent. But what I need is for y'all to let me know how I could be a better service, right? Because this YouTube channel is all over the place and I need to dial in, I need to dial in. So I'm thinking something along the lines of, you know, something along the lines of like, you know, divine mission, fucking being supported by the universe, fucking embracing just whatever the universe brings my way, complete faith. You know what I mean? Starting my channel with a little direction because right now it's all over the place. But then again, that's just how I live my life. You know, I don't like planning shit out because man plans and God laughs. You know what I mean? But I fucking got a Planet Fitness gym membership because it was 24 hours and the price was right. The price was right. So I went off and did that. But then I get down here and fucking Planet Fitness is a fucking hop, skip, and a jump away. Like, meaning it's far. It's like 12 miles. The bus is like $2.50 a ride, which in LA was a lot cheaper. It was like $1.75 for one bus and then $1.25 for the other. But the fact of the matter is, I set my intention. If you fucking are on your mission and you support all who is in service to love and you got the means I'm gonna leave my motherfucking link down below and if you want to send me a blessing you go right ahead because I'm gonna need to manifest this new 24-hour fitness membership but there's a few people that have already helped me out and I am so thankful and I'm not looking for another handout from y'all what I'm trying to do is manifest a new divine being so that's my intention. But either way, I already know I'm supported. I already know that I'm fucking well taken care of. And when I need it, it will show up. Hence the definition of abundance. Having exactly what you need when you fucking need it. I'm all spun off off this coffee. Had a little Kratom. Kratom's been amazing. I haven't been using it. I use it like maybe every three or four days, which is a blessing. Um, my plans out here are to just move around, see what I'm down here for. I know this dude, Paul Check, has a spot down here who is hella inspirational. I haven't really followed his content too much, but I know he's a divine warrior, so I might just pay him a visit. I was intending to attract the health nut, that nutty motherfucker, certified health nut, because he, his stomping ground is Venice Beach, but it didn't happen. And everything happens for a reason. So I'm not worried about it. I, you know, honestly, I had, I had an idea that it wasn't him, you know, it wasn't him. It really wasn't just because, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything that will come from judgment. Cause what I have to say sounds like it's judgmental, but it's not, but it just, you know, different, just a different fucking purpose, I guess, you know, but we will see. Not that I don't like the guy. I fucking love his mission. I love his message and I support him 100%. But for some reason, for some reason, maybe it was in a past life, we had an incarnation together and he pissed me off because I don't have any ill words for the guy, but something about him, maybe it's his vanity of him always flexing and showing his muscles off. And I had a problem with that and I'm working on that. But I know that my vessel that I was blessed with is a blessing. I am beautiful, I am whole and I am complete. And it doesn't matter what I look like. As long as my expression is love, then I'll be exactly where I need to be. Attracting who I need to attract. 444 baby. See, my angels are with me. Everywhere I go, I am connected. I have a message everywhere. I'm not even kidding. I'm saying absolutely everywhere that I go, there is a message for me. Just drifting along, 
for example, I go in LA, I go to get on a Greyhound, right? Well, I go to buy the ticket and I have a problem with my baggage, right? Cause I got hella baggage, but I'm on minimal resources. So I go to buy my ticket at the counter and she's like, oh, you get one free bag and then you gotta pay $20 for each one. I said, well, that shit ain't gonna work. Fact of the matter is, you know, I asked her a few questions and seeing if there was something that I could do didn't seem that way. I was like, well, let me go online and see if I could, you know, buy my ticket online because it's a little bit, you know, cost effective. And I realized I didn't have a Wi-Fi signal, so I couldn't do that. So I go back up to the counter and, you know, I'm asking her about the baggage because it's fucking, you know, really wishy-washy. And, you know, I'm like, well, I got to rethink my strategy because I don't have the reason, excuse my language. I'm in the process of attracting the resources and they haven't showed up yet. So I go sit down and she steps out the booth. She's like, these are your bags? She's like, yeah. She's like, here, how about you just buy the $11 ticket? I give you the free bag. You throw that on there. You bring the two up on there and you'll be fine. You're only going to San Diego. There's no check. They're not moving your luggage. So it's a straight shot. I'm like, thank you so much. That's what I'm talking about. The universe will make a way for you. When you, do, when you think all else fails, it will make a way for you as long as you are in service to love. And I am living proof of that. And then on my ticket, I'm looking at it, that was $11 and $11 was posted twice, so it was 11.11. It was divinely guided. But now I need to manifest this gym membership, so I got a place to wash my ass. I can't be looking funky. Look, I look funky as a motherfucker right now. Plus my tan line is all jagged off. You see what I mean? But it's all good. I'm still beautiful as fuck. Right here, right here. I had some dude comment saying like, I guess I was talking about something about looking good. I don't know what it was, but he was like, that's easy to say for somebody that's good looking. Try being ugly. And I said, well, if you really knew anything about love, that you know that the outside beauty is an illusion. It's all perception. I could be handsome to one person and fucking ugly to the next. But one thing that is true is that beauty comes from within and you can't deny that. You can't deny true inner beauty. It is a fucking, just radiates out. So any of you guys struggling on that reflection in the mirror, find out what's right in here, right here, and learn to love that. And this will come into play. The reason why you don't like what you see out here is because you don't like what you have in here. So if you fix what's in here, out here will mirror that. So just know that you are in alignment. You're fucking beautiful. God made you perfectly. And you might not know why you look the way you look, but eventually you will. And like I said, if you're struggling on this, that's because this ain't right. And you're paying attention too much to the shit that's going on out here like the magazines and Instagram and fitness models and all that. Let that shit go. That shit's an illusion. Those people are miserable as fuck. Guaranteed, they don't like what they see in the mirror. They're always trying to fix it. Always. You see any of those fitness models, very few of them actually are confident. And very few of them are. So just know that that shit's an illusion. Those people are not happy with their body. The only reason why they're in the gym is to fix it or have the illusion of fixing it. And um, their goal isn't health. It's not wellness. It's not feeling good. It's just looking good. It's just vanity. It's bullshit. And when you go and you want to get yourself right and you want to get in the gym, make sure health is your fucking number one priority. Make sure feeling good is your number one priority. Make sure wellness is your number one priority. That's it. And then you know what? Looking good is a side effect of that. But either way, I'm gonna attract what I need to attract when I need to attract it because I'm a divine being of light. I am the greatest expression of love that I could be in this present moment. I am a divine warrior of love. I am supported, I am guided, and I am protected. Every day and every way, my life is getting better and better. Every day and in every way, I am getting greater and greater. Now, when I say that, and you want to say that, just know that God will send you fucking challenges every day to make you great. So unless you're up for them challenges, 
don't use that affirmation because every day you're gonna get challenged. Every day, like I was, hug I was lugging around about 120 pounds worth of luggage. Why? Because I wanted to be great. So God thought it was a great idea to fucking strap 120 pounds worth of luggage and have me walk 10 to 15 miles around LA. Every day in every way, I am becoming greater and greater. When I said that, God snatched my phone away from me when I only had two hours worth of sleep, or when I <laughs> haven't slept in about two days, was dependent on my phone to get around. And he made me realize that these earthly attachments are not in service to me. So I need to detach. These are the lessons that get thrown our way when we wanna become great. When you say, God, give me the confidence I need to be successful. God's gonna give you a whole bunch of fucking experiences that are gonna make you feel unconfident, that are gonna actually do the opposite of what you asked for. So you could step into that power and find your confidence at your lowest level. So just know that when you fucking ask for these things, they're not gonna come in the way that you expect them. They're gonna come in the way that best serves your spirit, your soul, and your mission. But with that being said, 1111, I gotta go. But I love y'all, please, Love yourself.